All right, let's look at chin against a man, uh, man to man. So we're in a similar um, setup here. Remember, we're going to be from the from the line here of the paint. It's just kind of where we're going to have our guards set up just outside of that line. Free throw line extended for our other guards here. And so we got the ball two passes away, so good defense will be playing down here, a little bit of help side defense. He's one pass away, so he's probably going to be playing deny there. And 10 is guarding five, so he's probably going to be between him and the basket. And I've got this 11 playing against one, and the ball's with one. All right? So remember, we're always going to start this offense with a dribble handoff. He's going to dribble down here with the ball and hand off to four coming off the side. So he's going to come with him, hand off here. While that's happening, two's going to come and get in the way of eight. So that three can drive his man and come down here and catch the ball. Now this is critical. When three is coming here and four is dribbling off here, it's important to make that pass as three is arriving to this spot. You don't want to make that pass too late because then eight's going to recover. So eight's going to eventually come back up here and be here. Two's just going to pop out and get back spacing again. And here we are, right? The person that he's come up here and made this pass. Four, what you want to avoid doing when you're doing this dribble handoff, you want to avoid falling in love with the dribble and passing the ball over while you're over here. You want to stay away from this midline. So the pass, you want to make that pass as three's arriving here. You want to make that pass as you're coming off and he's arriving there. So here we go. Now we're set up here and uh, he's recovered back to that position. As soon as, soon as three gets it, he's going to swing it to two. So now we have a position where he's playing a little bit of help side here. And this guy should be playing a little bit down here. And 10 is playing against five there. As soon as that happens, as soon as the ball goes there, the and one extra pass, five's going to screen 11, four, four. Four is going to come off this right here. Check me. We're looking for this pass right into here to four to make a layup. Now let's just say whatever reason um, ball's here and four doesn't do a good job coming off the screen comes out wide and leaves space and 11 gets in there and follows him out right so we don't have a good we don't have a good look here the rule of thumb is you're going to go to the opposite side you entered so you entered on this side of the court you're going to come over here on this side and we got him here now right now the very next thing five is going to do is going to come set a screen for eight now and here this guy's going to cover down for him right now three is going to come off the screen hopefully Three, five can get where he's setting a screen right there, and three can come here. But it just depends. It depends on how they're playing defense. Sometimes you set it here, and 10 comes here, and three's going to come off the screen this way. And we're looking for this pass now in for a layup. Okay? But let's say three, like our first cut, doesn't do, oh, here's 10, doesn't do a good job. He's coming off here. He comes out wide. He doesn't use a pick, and eight goes with him, and we can't get that pass. Same rule of thumb. You entered on this side, you can't get the pass, you're gonna come out on this side. So he's playing up there. The next thing five is gonna do quickly is come and set a screen for two on number six here. Set the screen here, his man comes here, and two's gonna, you know, his man's probably gonna be here. Two's gonna dribble off this screen. Again, he's gonna be guarding him. We're looking for this layup here. But we're also looking for five to drop step and open up to the basket. So now we have a two on zero situation and maybe one of these guys will be helping out. Probably be this guy. If he decides to help out here, we still have a two on one situation. So that's the basic chin there. Now what happens if he's dribbling in here, five's not open to, you know, he's not open. He recovers out here and he can't get the ball to where he needs to go. All two is going to do is keep his dribble, dribble out. Five is going to come and reset. These guys are just going to move back up. Um, move back up to here. You're going to move out to there. And we're just back in. He's guarding him. We're just back in chin now. Back in the basic setup, right? With five on the power side. We're back in our basic. This would be playing this way. Basic setup. And we could just continue running chin again. Right? That's it. That's the basic chin setup.